Hello, this is Jennifer Ellis. You heard me on the Speak, Teach, Sell Telesummit, and I'm here with your free gift. The purpose of your free gift is an added value bonus. Jim Ellis and I, my husband, we host a radio show called Freedom for All on Fridays at 2 p.m. So I thought it would be great to have him here with me. And we're going to share with you the top 10 ways to make your radio show a success. All right. So number 10, find something you are passionate about that can also benefit others. Build your show around this. Most of you speakers have an expertise, something you're passionate about. Create your show around that expertise and make sure it is something that will benefit others, your listeners. Number nine, make sure that your topic is a niche, that it actually addresses something specific for your audience. For example, our show is about freedom. It's about freedom, but the topic isn't too small, too focused. So it is about the Second Amendment rights, for example, but it is about freedom, which could be on the inner or the outer. Make sure your topic is broad enough, but it also is specific enough for an audience to address. Number eight, planning. Start, finish, time, be consistent. For example, our show is on Fridays at 2 p.m. We keep it at Fridays at 2 p.m. so that we can start to build a following of listeners. And also make sure that your show ends on time. If you have a 30-minute show, end it at 30 minutes. Make sure to be consistent every week. Number seven, pick a title for your show as well as for your episodes that is very alluring, that is very attractive, that makes the audience want to tune in. Number six, promotion. Make sure you're blogging. Make sure you're putting all of your shows on social media and send out blasts to your email list. You can also send out press releases about your show. And also, very important, make sure your guests are doing the same. Number five, speak personally. The audience listening to you wants to make sure that they are hearing a human being with human feelings and thoughts. So speak personally, tell your own story, have a co-host that you can speak with so that the audience hears personal stories from its host. Number four, find quality guests for your show. Jim and I recently posted looking for guests on radioguestlist.com. Again, that's radioguestlist.com. And we have found some amazing people and we are now booked through the month of June with guests. And also, if you have someone that you just are really wanting to talk to, reach out. But you never know. You might get them as a guest. One of my favorites is Jim and I had Kendra Wilkinson on our show. She is a former Playboy Playmate and reality TV star. And uh, I just love her. So I was so happy we just asked. And she said yes. Number three, confirming your guest. If you do have a guest on your show, you're going to want to make sure to confirm them. That means let them know ahead of time, email them, and have them reply that they know when the show is, the time, where to call, all the details so to make sure that you have them on your show at the right time. Number two, have guests tell stories that are revealing. You really want your listeners to have a connection with your guest. And uh, I know on our show, we've had several guests cry. Barbara Walters has always been known as someone who has made her guests cry, and people really wanted to be on her show. They always wanted to watch her shows. So same here. You know, make sure you have your guests making a connection with the audience. And the number one way to make your radio show a success is to find a way to have the guests not over-talk. You never want your guests to go on and on and on. You want to have a conversation. So if you do find a guest that is rambling on, there are creative ways of getting your words in there. Find a pause and then make a positive statement about what they have just said. Find the pause and then make a positive statement about what they just said. This is very helpful to make it a conversation and not a one-way monologue. And I just want to let you know if you are interested in being a guest on the Freedom For All radio show or if you want to inquire about the services that Jim and I offer to speakers, check out the website freedomforall.me. Again, that's freedomforall.me. Thanks again for joining us.